All right, now, as China passes the contentious national security law, which gives it sweeping powers over Hong Kong, pro-democracy protesters are resorting to some creative ways to voice their dissent. Now, the protesters in Hong Kong are using wordplay and even Chinese Communist Party literature to express dissent against the new national security law. So as you can see on your screens, many are leaving blank posted notes on a Lenin wall inside the pro-democracy restaurants in Hong Kong. Now these kinds of restaurants grew popular in Hong Kong last year during the protests. A Lenin wall is usually made up of colourful sticky notes with protest slogans on them. But now only blank notes are being put up on these Lenin walls as a matter of protest. As the security law came into effect from the 1st of July... Protesters are now under constant threat of prosecution for doing pretty much anything that could be interpreted as being secessionist. Now, the Hong Kong police has in fact started arresting people displaying forbidden political slogans. And this could even be as basic as free Hong Kong. So let's also try and understand as to why China's national security law is extremely insidious in the manner that it operates. The law prohibits acts of secession, subversion, terrorism and collusion with a foreign power in Hong Kong. And that is why Hong Kong protesters have to use hidden language to protest now. Hence the loud sloganeering, the holding up of placards or any other form of evident protest is out of the question now. The national security law which came into effect on the 1st of July has sparked widespread concerns about its implications. Uh, some were, some were scared, but there's nothing uh, uh, scared too much because uh, I'm not uh, uh, breaking the law. I'm doing a very lawful uh, action today. With the way I am just treated by the police, they push me so hard and very unfriendly. I, I'm not confident in uh, Hong Kong's people, people in Hong Kong's uh, the Hong Kong social media and chat forums are now filled with suggestions for how to find safer ways to protest after Beijing imposed a controversial legislation. Now, Hong Kong has always been a home for critics of Beijing, and hence Beijing has always wanted to control the literature in the semi-autonomous city where people are used to speaking up their minds. The many pro-democracy activists are in fact confident that people will eventually find ways to try and get around the law.